My name is uh, Stefan Herter, and I live in Darling, Darling. Well, this is Janice. She's a 1976 Chevrolet Commando, 4.1 automatic. And we've been together now for about, just about 10 years, eh? We've got an understanding. I'll maybe use her as my coffin one day. <laughs> I think Africa, and especially South Africa, has got a really harsh and unforgiving climate. You know, I've got everything from a really hot sun, the dirt roads and the mud, to the oceans with the salt in the air, and just everything, everything's against you. It's my baby. <laughs> She's 41 this year. <laughs> The connection between my car and I, it's one of growth, I think, <laughs> and new experience. Ever since I've had her, I've been in this creative and new path. I love driving around and finding new roads to travel on. I think for me, the big thing uh, that connects me to my car is, is the open road, is the driving, the wind in your hair. The car's alive, the car's kinda like a friend more than, than just it's something to get you from point A to B. It goes with you from point A to B. I never understand people who have classic cars and you know drive them once a, once a week. I, I don't understand that. The car is there to be driven, so drive it. I'm Tariq Adram. I have a business that uh, promotes the stance and car culture in South Africa. I've got a 1976 Mercedes Benz W115. The passion for cars has you know, been in me before I could even drive. The stance movement is something that started in the, the last decade in South Africa basically how the car looks and how you live. So some people like it simple, some people like it extravagant. So that's why we say it's an extension of your style. My style is very um, simplistic. I love things to be clean and like flawless. I like a plain kind of t-shirt. The main thing is, is like collecting and having rare sneakers in the same way that the wheels are kind of rare. The ones from the 80s and 90s, like I have on the Mercedes, you don't get them anymore. You have to, you know, know people or scout around or it's really like a matter of luck. It's the, the rareness to things kind of increases its, its scene points. The air suspension is kind of like the ultimate level for the stance in the sense that you have practicality as well as like the low, lowered vehicle. Some people feel like, you know, it's ridiculous to have the car so flat, like what's the point? The point for us is, is that, you know, it just is aesthetically pleasing. It kind of, it closes the wheel gap and like the arch. We like low profile tires so that it uh, accentuates the rim. That's why the lowering is so important because the lower it is, the more it accentuates the wheel. Uh, a friend of mine introduced me to Turtle Wax products. Once I started using it, I actually started to see like, you know, how, how much like heritage is in the brand. If your dad knows about it, like, you know, it must be something of uh, stature and, and credibility. We built basically this thing we call Familia. Every Sunday we go out to Sea Point and like, you know, kind of just everybody comes through with their cars and, you know, just socializing and just having a good time you know, with, you know, with the oceanic views and like the, you know, the sunset. My name is Malika Daniels. I'm a female drifter. I'm a mother. I manage um, artists, DJ RDD. I'm basically an all in one package. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm married to Malika. We love cars, we love music, we love sport, we love dogs, we love life. 
I was busy practicing at Kilani and somehow all my boost pipes came loose and I lost control of the vehicle. Was it the issue to, to fix up those, those bruises that we had on the back bumper? <laughs> no, we, instead of just doing the little patches, we did the whole bumper. So we painted yeah. the whole thing black and then we did the color shift over it again. I saw this rubber fencing coming out. I thought, I'm not going to face it. I'm just going to steer the car so that I can face my back and then the back smash into the tire wall. These cars go through a lot of punishment, basically. So it's very important to look after the, the liquid track that's on here. It's not like any spray job. This you can basically peel off and you can change the color when you want to. And there's like a special way of taking care of, of washing and maintaining the car. Very important to have a good quality uh, cleaning kit, like turtle wax. We, we wash the car, dry it, and then you put on the polish and wait a bit and then we will puff it up. People start taking out the cameras, it makes you feel very proud. It's all shiny and people are loving it. The drifting scene in Cape Town is very big. Car culture is easy seen as male-dominated area, but since I started, I think we broke that. It was tough, but the guys are actually very lenient and they respected me as a woman. Malika's heart, she's got a big lion heart, she'll just come in guns blazing, balls to the wall, up with the e-brake, flat foot and let's go.